Pajamas except for heart. Want float up in a long pajamas. Hi, I'm Robbie Delaney. My wife Caroline and I started Muddy River back in 2011. With 35 bottles a day and a still named Freedom built in my parents' backyard. Year by year, we steadily grew the company into 6,000 square feet, our second location, taking our 30 bottles a day production to 1,300 bottles a day production. This is our first four year barrel. We've outgrown our space in Belmont, so now we're moving the entire production upriver, up the Catawba, up Dutchman's Creek. Our new home will be the Mount Holly Cotton Mill, where we're doing a full historic restoration. I'm gonna blow up the building with the rum. Don't mind me, just taking a little pre-drink. Now, one other important part, we should taste it and see what it tastes like. My least favorite task here, moving barrels. If you jack it up with a pallet rack, you might notice the whole stack is like, like that, and then you're like, oh, great. Going from 6,000 square feet to 20,000 square feet, we'll not only manufacture, bottle, and package our rum, we'll also have a full service cocktail bar with a restaurant, private event spaces, a venue for concerts, shows, and festivals. Follow along as we transform this property from mill to still. Have y'all been to Muddy River before? You are in the oldest legal rum distillery in North Carolina. Start with um, some molasses, goes into our fermentation, and then from there we bring it out to the stills. And that's when we separate the water from the alcohol. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, take care, y'all. We just received the candles from Recycled to Upcycled. We've got, we did um, coffee. Oh, I just cut myself. And our four year. So excited to see that. This guy worked in record time. Good one to open. Oh my god, it smells so good. I wish you could smell it. Ugh! I'm so excited. Ooh, yeah. Little family business he has in Greer, South Carolina called Recycled to Upcycled. Hoover. Thanks, Hoover. <laughs> Can you smell it? Doesn't it yeah. smell really good? Come and get your candles. We don't have that many of them. They're gonna go fast. Oh! <laughs> Dude, this is, I swear this Light up your like... life. Hi folks, how are ya? Living the dream now. Heck yeah. A rum distillery in moonshine country. <laughs> Shot at what? Well, not that I've seen, and thank God, because I don't think I'd be here if I did. Do you guys wanna do a little rum tasting? It's yeah. the gold medal. Uh, so we have the white label, the Queen Charlotte Reserve one year, and then also the um, spice drum. Yeah, so this is our spice drum. We won a gold. Yeah, we did at the Miami Rum Festival. Oh, that is smooth. Yeah. Wow, is that smooth. Yes. We've also have, we don't put this one out there, but since you're a dark guy, this is our navy strength. Oh. Yeah, since you're seeing a Navy buddy, it is available for purchase. And then we can try the four year. And actually, today is an exciting day. That's kind of why everyone's here. We are bottling our eight year. Eight year. Yeah, we don't have any available for tasting, but. Uh, no, I don't need to taste. <laughs> Good for you to have yes. space and time. Yes. 
is a bottle rinser. So, just turn this water on. So as soon as the bottle, we grab the bottles right there, stick them on here, rinse them. These are a couple that Rita and I hand labeled just to make a flag on our label roll. Uh, essentially, you have to get like a certain section that doesn't have any labels on it, so you can run it through the beginning of the machine. So these ones are hand labeled. These are probably some of the employee bottles, I would imagine, that we take home. Uh, so that we can save the nice ones for you. you know, this thing runs on, obviously, electric, but then air, compressed air. So when I turn this on, one thing you'll see is like, all the filling is done with these heads, right? So if I take our air off, watch that. Lower's down. So as long as we keep pressure on it, pressurize air on it, it stays up like that. We'll just load six bottles on. We'll go in, line up. This head's gonna drop. Uh, compress this spring, which allows the liquid to flow through as we pump it in. So there's a pump we've got hooked up to our tank that pumps it into this tank, and there's a pump on the machine that will, via automation on the computer, pump liquid through each head into the bottles. And then it's got like a timer, um, and it won't overflow. And then it stops, they lift, this opens, they run down the machine, get kind of slowed down through here, and then hit this sensor on our, our labeler which applies our labels. From here, we actually have our newest toy, which is right here. <laughs> it's not totally finished yet, but, so we used to stick your bottle on, cork it, and you have to hammer it in. Two smacks typically per bottle, and then with this thing now, that uh, trusty Trev dog has made, and we have now out hit, outfitted with a sensor. Whenever you want to cork it, stick it in, Boom, done. So much faster, much more efficient. This is the sensor, and then it works off this reflector, which aren't, this is not a finished, the Popsicle sticks are not the finished product. We're just making sure this is gonna work and do a little test run with it. Uh, and we're gonna replace this plate too. This is kind of the test plate, but yeah, you just slide it in there, boom, boom. That's our, that's uh, Caroline, our owner, her kids. You are, we'll have so much fun today. You've got a couple different bags. You've got it all, it sounds like. Thank you. Yeah, of course, nice to meet you both. It's out a little, I got a hammer back in. <laughs> I like your Halloween shirt. Yes. Hi. Hi. How are you feeling today? Yeah. I'm here. I'm just here. Yeah. You sound like you might be too, are you? Oh, you got it now? Yeah. <laughs> Robbie. Just criticize that. Oh, it's not a present. Sorry. I didn't think it was a oh. present. You said thanks. No, I was saying, I was still in the conversation with Caroline. Oh. Thanks, Robbie. You got everyone sick. I'm blaming Robbie on for it. I just want you to criticize. I know, I just don't even know what it is yet, so I can't criticize. Is it a microphone? <laughs> it's a faucet. Okay. <laughs> At first, that's what I thought it was. Oh, that's nice. Is this for the bathroom? I think that's yeah. nice. I love it. I mean, I like, I like, I like black. I was wondering if it'll be long enough. I'm like, eh. Yeah, because that's the worst when it splatters everywhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like it. I think it'll survive. 
Because <laughs> I don't not? think we'll know until it happens. Yeah, I mean, you're not going to really know. I'm just going to dust it. She made a good point, though. Is it long enough? I think because you mentioned that, too. With right? your sinks? <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. And it's longer than those really obnoxious ones where you can't. That you just end up splashing anything. water everywhere. Oh, I hate yeah. those. Yeah, I don't know. It's, like, it's, it's a long, yeah. it's relatively long for a bathroom sink, I think. Hmm. I think it's pretty. I really like it a lot. Look at all these pets. Uncle Dirty sent these. Uncle Dirty? Mm -hmm. He's so, really dirty. He is. That's I the like one you it. want? You want the Smurf? No, that's that. Oh, ouch! Oh my foot! Now, where did you find that hammer, sir? Sir poops a lot. Sir poops a lot. What color Pez do you want? Oh, there's just reds. I'm going to get a red. Thing. It's going in the river. Oh, I can hold it. Ooh, a Care Bear. I haven't seen this Pez. I got this. Oh, look at that. That's how Pez should open every time. This life can leave you so breathless. How quickly things can change. Okay, I'm actually at the distillery right now. My mom and dad gave me Pez for Easter and Christmas and birthdays and I don't know, I guess that. And I'm a hoarder, so I don't throw anything away. And I, as I got older, I think I was about 17, 18. I was like, man, I got a lot of Pez. I built a display because it's only cool if you can see them. So I built that thing, and this is really cool because it's the, the thing's notched. So the Pez goes in, and then it, it sits in a groove. It needs to be dusted. I'm going to put a glass front on it. And then people started bringing Pez to me. So in tours, people will bring me Pez, like, oh, Bree. Bree gave me this Pez. And like this bag is full of Pez. And this is all Pez. And then I got this box from Super Dirty full of Pez. And everybody's like, oh, you should keep in the box for money. But I mean, nothing's better than giving your kids some Pez. Oh. Anyway, so we'll find a nice spot in the new building. I'm gonna build a giant display. Like, picture this, but the size of a full sheet of plywood. And we'll display all of it. You love these like hard medicine. There's nothing better than you. Like. Buddy, with you next to me. Or hard medicine. There's nothing better than you. Are you leaving, Caroline? Yeah, I'm gonna leave. All right. I'll, I'll probably be on in like four or five. Okay. Oh, the candles came. I've wanted my whole life to sell candles. That's so funny. You never sold candles with it? Mm -mm. No, it took 12 years in finding Rita. This candle aged for eight years in a barrel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't invent You invented candles. Liquor candles. Yeah, you invented candles. <laughs> I invented candles. Took a time machine back to the year two and invented the candle. The year two? I think it was BC, bro. Yeah, 2 BC. <laughs> yeah, it's like when people ask that question, like, if you could time travel to any year, what would you do? Robbie's like, I want to go back to before they invented candles, and I invent candles. <laughs> would you like a four-year candle? Or maybe you'd prefer a navy rum candle. What? The gray doesn't work in my room. Well, actually, in fact, you can use this purplish color. All right, Rita, Bobita, they're all there. Here's some beer. Do we not like that? Turn right. that room. I don't give a Okay. And then I put some up here because just you want a couple in there. A couple because you, you can see them over there. Will you also help me? We need to start finalizing the merchandise shelves. Like. Yeah.
feel like we're gonna knock this bottling out in like five seconds. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna take less than an hour. I'm thinking like 45 minutes tops, this thing's gonna be empty. Here, get out of here. Get, skip, no. Skip it, deep. Right here, dude. That's where we stand. Huh? That's where people stand. Yeah. Sucks to be you. Look how good this looks. Ah, uh, my old job. <laughs> I forgot about this place. <laughs> Sender bud. This is this was set to Queen Charlotte, right? You should be good. Give me a bottle just to run the labels, Jakey. That was better. Oh, she's freaking sexy. You see what I'm doing here? I'm using this as a as a height. So watch the bottle as it goes that corner. And you see where it's touching? See where the, the difference in size? And then as I spin this bottle, it should stay that size. And if it doesn't, like if it's lower on that side than it is on that side, that means that label is crooked. So it can visually look crooked, but it is crooked, and I like that height. Feels like there's not 90 PSI on this also. It says 80. Yeah, I told you. I just want to go enjoy this bottling for a second, but it's I'm using a benchmark to see the crookedness. It's easier when two are exactly the same. Let me do one more. Yeah, so I adjust the, this thing and that thing, and then you can tilt this whole table over. So that's the tensioner right there. So this whole thing maintains tension. It should ride just fine. <laughs> okay, I think we're golden. Oh, I didn't do any zoomies. That actually looks really nice. Well, it did. Get in there. <laughs> no, then, he, have the then he deflated, not deflated. <laughs> Show the butt. The stickers. I just want to see this real quick. Jake's first day on the job. Yes. I just want to put this in your beard so bad. <laughs> Jake's first day on the job. We built this box on your first day. Yeah, yeah. essentially, yeah. And uh, so now we're putting the honorary first label on the box grill. Mm -hmm. Where do you want it? It's a nice gap right here. There's a lot of silver here. Let's just break it up a little bit. You want it there? Here? Yep. Do you want it a little crooked? I mean, I don't think it really matters one way or the other. What do you want? Perfect. This is modern art. You can't criticize yeah, it like being crooked. No. <laughs> if it's so crooked, cool. if it's straight, it doesn't matter. It's it's perfect. All right, let's drink this. Oh. oh. What do you want me to say? A blessing? Let's uh, do this. Yeah. <laughs> I think we should do a cheers. I mean, we've tasted it, but we haven't tasted it since it's sat. Cheers to getting older. It's not all that bad. Cheers yeah. to eight years. Oh, dang. That's like all oak. Dude, it's so smoky. Yeah. Compared to the younger stuff, I get way more smoke out of this. I'm getting scotch out of it now. It is a little scotchy. Yeah. It's scotchy. It's thick. The mouthfeel is intense. I, I can't find my way through the tree. You're going to take it off the label then and you put it. Oh, in. you're corking them before they get labeled. Yeah, oh. dog. Okay. Oh. That's what we wanted to do last time, but it didn't work when you were doing hand pumps. Yeah. You couldn't have the time. Didn't work when you didn't have Robbie D. Oh God. He's gonna come in here and brag because he's doing a quarter of the amount of bottles with better tech than we had before. Yeah, he'd be like, yeah you need Robbie D. Um, <laughs> this is how you bottle in 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is how you do a batch in 24 minutes. <laughs> uh, you broke it, Jordan. Damn. Am I rocking enough pressure over here? So nice. 
Yeah. The green with that real nice It's so green. dark. Yeah. Dang. That is going to look so good on a shelf. I've been dreaming of the hunter green and the burgundy. How this works. You're a bitter. The rhythm. Whoa, that took us 49 minutes and 51 seconds. He could dump another eight year barrel right now. He could dump a nine year barrel right now. That's how old I am. <laughs> right? That's crazy to think about. Like, you just have a bunch of barrels. But... We have an eight year run. I remember being 27 years old and being like, hmm, it'd be so cool to have like a real old rum, like a real old distillery. And then, you know, this will get normal and then we'll launch uh, our 12 year. And then this will, that'll get normal and we'll launch our 16 year. And then we'll, that'll get normal and we'll launch our 20 year. And be like, it's one bottle, <laughs> one bottle, $30,000. I don't know, we'll see what the world does by then. <laughs>